Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a quick video. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a bottle with the Enfamil Infant Formula Baby Powder. So if you are a new parent or a new dad, I got you. Just keep watching. All right guys, so I have my Enfamil Formula Powder over here. I have my Dr. Brown Bottle Warmer and I have my Dr. Brown Bottle that I'm gonna use right now. So if you are interested in purchasing the Dr. Brown Bottle Warmer or the bottles, I will put them in my description down below. So the first step, obviously, you want to wash your hands with soap and then you want to fill your water up with um, a bottled water I wouldn't suggest tap water um, but I would do uh, any filtered water um, that you have or a um, Evian bottle water or anything like that but I have the, the Kangen water machine so I get the formula water over here so that's what I pressed and I'm going to fill it up all the way to 9 ounces there you go then with the um, Dr. Brown bottle warmer this little cap comes with it so you just want to close it and then make sure that there's water in here. Put your bottle in and then bottle warmer will also come with this list over here. And so I am putting 9 ounces of water in a plastic bottle. So it will tell you that if it's room temperature, water has to be on 325. But again, this is an estimate. It says here, this time chart is approximate. And my daughter likes her bottle warmer, so I put it at four minutes. Alright guys, so now once it's ready, you want to take your bottle out. I like to take a towel to dry a little bit around. And then since I have 9 ounces, I'm going to fill this water up with 4.5 scoops. So you always want to make sure that you put half of your formula depending on the ounces that you have in your bottle. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4... and a half so that's how you make your bottle if you have five ounces you're gonna put two and a half scoops if you have six ounces you're gonna put three scoops if you have two ounces you're gonna put one scoop if you have three one and a half scoops so once that's done you want to shake So yeah, you wanna make sure that you shake very well. And then once you're done, you just put the top on it. And there you go. So you're ready to give your bottle to your baby. Guys, also remember that if there's any milk left in your bottle, you can keep it for up to one hour. But if it's more than one hour, then just toss it away. The milk will no longer be good anymore. So that's it. It's all ready and I'm gonna go feed it to my daughter now. So if you guys think this video was helpful, don't forget to like, share, and comment down below. So that's it. Have a good day. Bye.